Very good morning. You are watching your Vision TV news around Uganda. I am Ruth Inaseje, and here we look at stories making headlines across the country. We can start off with this bulletin from Arua District. A UPDF soldier attached to Bondo Army Barracks in a river sub county in Arua District in the wee hours of Tuesday night showed three people killing two of them instantly. Alice Dribiru, who was shot in the arm, remains admitted at Arua Regional Referral Hospital. The 4th Division UPDF Republic Relations Officer Major Teresofa Runyanunu confirmed that Private Hafa Nuamanya killed himself after shooting dead Nicholas Drandu, 49 years, and Amos Alioni, both civilians. He said if the officer had not killed himself, he would have been produced before the court martial for justice to prevail. According to the LC3 chairperson of a river sub-county, Francis Felix Edema, the officer was part of the group that before the incident had been drinking in one of the bars in Bondo Trading Center. He said at about 2 a.m. the soldier decided to go to the barracks and returned with a gun. Witnesses said he returned to the bar at around 4 a.m. and immediately opened fire. The bullet hit Alioni, who was sleeping in a chair. He died instantly. The bar owner and some women who were drinking took off for their lives as those in the bar became rowdy. As he walked towards the trading center, he opened fire at Drando and his wife, who were sitting on the veranda of the shop. Drando also died instantly. Edema said the officer, on realizing that two of the people he had shot at were dead, decided to shoot himself in the head. The bodies of the two civilians were on Wednesday morning, picked and taken to a regional for hospital for a post-mortem, while, while the body of the officer was still at Bondo Army Barracks. News coming in from Untungamo District. The police have charged a prominent businessman in Untungamo municipality with murder following the death of his wife. Her body was found in a pool of blood in the house she was renting. The Untungamo Central Police Station Deputy OCCID Vincent Berhanga confirmed that the suspect, Francis Kateta Beshetwa, is in their custody and has already been charged with murder. He added that they are now compiling all the evidence pinning him to the murder after which he will be taken to court. Kateta, 54 years old, is suspected to have stabbed his wife Judith in Tengereze, 34 years, following a couple of domestic violence instances and misunderstandings that have been in their home. The two are said to have had misunderstandings for a long time, which prompted the wife to leave her husband's house and rent one near in Tungamo Central Market. Berhanga said they arrested Kateta, who had going to report that his wife had been killed by unknown assailants. He is the first suspect since the two have been having misunderstandings. According to some reports revealed by the area LC1 chairperson Ben Akankwatsa and other residents. Moving on to Moroto District, police have recovered over 70 million shillings in counterfeit money during an operation in Acholi in village, a suburb of Moroto municipality in Moroto District. This followed a tip off by concerned residents who saw strangers on a motorbike on Monday night with suspicious luggage. The police have identified the suspects as Emmanuel Loki, a councillor for the Mineral Ridge Rupa sub county in Moroto district. Others include Stephen Kalanzungu, Philip Lokei, Paul Longora and Augustine Atai who are arrested with the counterfeit money. Ar Irene Acheng, the Karamoja police spokesperson, confirmed the incident. And news coming in from Kagadi District as schools prepare to begin term one for senior one on February 12th, Leia Namara will not be part of those joining secondary school. Namara, 15 years, obtained aggregate 10 in last year's primary leaving examinations and was the best candidate in all the universal primary education schools in Kagadi District. Namara has a vision of becoming a medical doctor, but her dream will not be realized because her mother 
mother, Helen Mbabazi, cannot afford to pay her school fees to join secondary school. Mbabazi, a resident of Chiraba village in Kagadi Town Council, is a single mother. She told New Vision that Namara had even dropped out of school before completing primary school primary seven but the school where she was studying from bishop rakaikara primary school supported her to complete primary education babazi said although namara passed well she does not have plans of taking her to secondary school because she cannot afford it and finally, from Wakiso district residents of Wakiso stormed the home of the woman MP for Wakiso, also the state minister for primary education, Rosemary Seninda, protesting the closure of some of the schools in the district. Over 20 schools in the district were given a notice of closure last month by the education ministry because they do not meet the standard requirements. Armed with placards, the residents petitioned the minister to negotiate with the government to halt the directives. Ruth Nakato, a bricklayer and resident of Nangabo, said she has four orphans who have been getting bursaries from the schools. Zeninde, who was accompanied by the Wakiso District Education Officer, Frederick Jinji, said the ministry will halt the opening of schools that are not registered according to the Education Ministry Kalichala. And that's all I had for you. Thank you for watching. Be sure to catch more news updates and other programs here on New Vision TV by visiting our website www.newvision.co.eug. I am Ruthie Naseje.